<laughs> Guys, I found what might be the coolest new plugin for VTube Studio. And this thing has opened up so many possibilities for VTubers, it's actually kind of crazy. Hey, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna show you what it's capable of. So be sure to stick around till the end because with this plugin, I'll be showing you how I triggered the longest VTube Studio toggle ever through Twitch chat. Let's get it. Okay, so this plugin slash software program, I, I don't really know what to call it, but it's called VTS Terminal and it's made by a person called Nekomato. This is really cool because it is a bunch of stuff all in one. Also, I'll link this down in the description along with Nekomato's socials so that you can check up on updates for this program and also the other stuff that they do. But basically, if you have a look at here, we have a tab that says hotkeys, positions, effects, and graph. So with hotkeys, think of it like a shortcut to toggle all of your VTube studio uh, expressions, but in this one window. If you have a look at my wing, if I press this, I can toggle my wing on and off. And then you can mix and match a couple of these as well. As you can see, I, my VTube studio model is changing you can also toggle item scenes, so head paths there too. You can toggle a bunch of stuff, including model position. Basically anything that you have in VTube Studio, you can toggle in here. And then if you move to positions, you can move around your character position here. And then you have presets that you can choose. And in here, <laughs> you'll find out what this means later. <laughs> if we go to effects, this is all the effects that VTube Studio has. So for example, if I wanted to have a glitch effect down here, you just bump this up. Whoa, whoa, I'm, whoa, I'm going crazy. Whoa, look at that, whoa. <laughs> you can have a lot of effects. You can stack them together and then you can make something like this, for example. It's pretty crazy or like this. It's pretty cool. But the meat and potatoes, the real awesome stuff about this program is this thing, the graph. Now I know that the graph sounds kind of intimidating, but this is actually kind of straightforward. So I'll show you how it goes. So let me let me show you exactly how this works really quickly. That's graph two, because I'm, I'm very creative with names. <laughs> so if we go to test graph two, you'll get greeted with this canvas. And then all you gotta do is you add in a trigger and then you add in an action that follows it. So for example, let's say we want to add in a VTube Studio hotkey, right? So maybe we want to use this to turn myself bald. So let's do bald. And then now if I press this trigger, have a look at my model, boop, I'm bald. You can go further than this. So this doesn't just affect VTube Studio. It can affect things like your Twitch, if you have it integrated or your OBS, if you have it integrated. Now you can have that integrated over here by this cog wheel. You go down, you see account integrations, boom. You see all this here that you can connect to your Twitch and to your OBS. The cool thing is that you can really go crazy with this. So you can combine a bunch of the Twitch and OBS and VTube Studio stuff together, create multiple triggers, and even create stuff down here, which is the processor. So if you wanna delay like this happening, for example, we can disable this, we can reconnect it through like that. And then now it'll take one second for me to go bald. So it'll have a little bit of a delay, like so. Now, let me show you one of my favorite nodes. <laughs> it's called random. If you control C and control V to copy this uh, hotkey node multiple times, go to random and then just connect it all to those hotkeys that we just created. And say we wanna have bald and we wanna have cap on cap off. And then we also wanna have, let's say, Neko Mimi. Now, if I press trigger, it's gonna choose one of these to do. So you can choose the cap on, cap off, or if you press it again, oh, now it's the Neko Mimi mode. If you press it again, oh, now it's the bald key. This means that you can randomize whatever hotkey that you can get by just putting in the random node. Let's go to uh, something a little bit more, something a little bit bigger. So my test graph. So this is my initial testing grounds. It's, it's nothing complicated. It's just a whole bunch of smaller stuff here. So let's just go back to default real quick. Okay, so now that we're back to default, let's have a look at what cool things we can do here. And here I have my toggle, my trigger connected to my model. So if you have a look, it's the mouth press lips open. So basically if I ever open my lips big enough, it'll trigger the thing. Right now it's green, meaning that it's being triggered. But if I close my mouth, it goes back to normal. And now the cool thing about this is that if I connect this and I do like a pog face, like oh, then it'll trigger all of these things here. So let's see what that does. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it 
It's so stupid. So what I've done here is basically put in an audio file that gets triggered if I do the pog phase. And then I put in a delay so that my <laughs> OBS source of the eagle shows up as soon as the audio does the screaming eagle thing. And then I just hit it afterwards. So that's a really simple chain of events that you can do. And now let's have a look at something more complicated. So let's take a look at my model switcher. So if you're new to the channel, I have this character called Zana, which is basically my female alter ego. And I want to give chat the ability in the future to be able to switch between me and my Zana model whenever they want. You know, it's kind of like a fun redeem. So if we have a look at the model switcher here, you can see that it's a pretty straightforward line of code or line of nodes even, which is basically like a line of code. So let's have a look at that in action. So I'm going to drag my chat box here. Uh, so <laughs> I've already spammed Zana from my um, testing. But if we put this in once, look at my model. So I go away, it goes through the process here. It gets a little bit of a delay. And then Zana appears, boom, I'm positioned in the center. And after about 10 seconds, it'll go back to my Zico's model. So give it a few more seconds here. Bum, 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 bum. And then it'll disappear have a little bit of a delay, and then it centers my Zikos model. So that's really cool. What we can do with that, we, we know that we can affect the triggers using Twitch chat right now. Let me show you guys something that I've been working on for the past basically day and a half or so. I'm so excited to unveil this, and this, this is the reason why I'm so excited for this program. And I cannot wait to see what Nekomato decides to add on to this afterwards. I do have a list of feedback that I want to give them. This, what I've created here, <laughs> let me just show you. <laughs> <Wonder> <laughs> This is a hundred and one notes of just one event after the other. And I can't wait to show you what it does. Okay, okay, don't mind this pile. It, I think I've made this so big that I've kind of broken the program because I can't, I can't delete any of this. So this is just my graveyard pile. But in here, I have some troubleshooting stuff so I can reset my character, I can swap to Zana, I can swap to Zico. So I might make a video later on after this. I'm gonna walk you through my logic and kind of walk you through how I achieved each one. But to give you the broad strokes, it takes wherever I'm at. So it doesn't matter if I'm the Zana model, it doesn't matter if I'm in another scene. It takes all of that and then it puts me into the correct scene through a specific chat input here. In, case, in this case, it's Zana, which is why I have um, so many <laughs> was why I have so, so many Zanas in here. But moving on, now that we're in the right scene, it goes through a randomizer. Yes, I've managed to somehow create a randomizer here. It chooses between three hotkeys that it swaps between, and then it basically picks one at random, or it can stack multiple at random as well. And then it goes through a second process where it adds in items. So it's not just hotkeys, but this time it it adds items at random as well. And then after some time, it goes into the VTube Studio effects. Afterwards, it goes into source visibility for OBS. So that means that any big block text that you can see here, simulation start, blah, 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 you know, you'll know what that means later on. It goes through all of that and then it plays a file here, which is actually a little song. And then now we go into the second phase, which I'm gonna be very careful not to reach a certain level because this thing is actually triggered by voice volume. So if I get too loud, this will trigger and everything down here will trigger afterwards. I'm gonna be very careful. In fact, I should probably just, just in case while I'm explaining things, block this off so that we don't accidentally trigger it. It will detect my voice and if my voice is, is a certain level of volume, it'll activate a media source in my OBS and then it'll swap out my mics and then it'll swap out some VFX stuff. Then in here, it just goes back to normal. So that's a very oversimplified explanation, but let's just see it in action, shall we? So let's connect this one first. Let's see it with my Zana model first so that you can see how it switches between my model and the scene that I'm at. And let's just give it a whirl, shall we? So in this case, I got to type in Zana three times. One. And if you see here, you can see it increasing. It's really cool. Two. And then now let's see. <laughs> let's see the third one. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Three. so excited so now it goes into the big block text into the randomizer i've even got like the freaking sound effects going for it so now it's selecting I, okay it selected me as bald so you can see here now that it's kind of paused and that's not supposed to happen 
but the program kind of breaks sometimes. It's still an alpha, it's okay. But I can just fix it because the it's just a matter with the counter. The counter isn't counting correctly. But I fix it here, and then we go back, and then it chooses the second phase of stuff to add. And then now we get to the fun part. <laughs> Why do I look like Pitbull? <laughs> Now we play a song. My feet are aching And your back is pretty tired And we've drunk a couple bottles, babe And set our grief aside And as the earth burns to the ground Oh, girl, it's you That I And now we're back to normal. So now you can see exactly what this thing is capable of. It's not just a simple make toggles easier from VTube Studio sort of thing. You can get really, really creative and do whatever I just did there, you know? Isn't this like so freaking amazing? There's so many possibilities. There's so many things you can do with this. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. And even though there's only a set amount of triggers, actions, and processors on here, it still has the potential and the possibility to have more added. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about this and what you would love to make using some kind of technology like this, you know? And also let me know if you want me to do any kind of tutorials for this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you also find it as awesome as I did. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and follow me on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday at the very least. All right, ciao.